I've been digging through my treasure chest and I came up with a couple of more locks that you might find interesting. Uh, they're two different sizes, but by the same company. The, this is a Vero lock, a cylindrical lock, usually used on storefronts. And you'd be surprised how much you might have to pay for one of these. I think I paid almost $50 for this one. This one is a uh, this one is a 70 millimeter, and I think I have the 60 here as well. We're going to pick both of them. Now there are some surprises. I I was quite surprised by uh, when I opened the box. I discovered that hey, it's only four pins. And there we go. There's the bidding on this one. And they say give you a bunch of keys, but I thought four pins. My God, we're going to rake this one in a hurry. Well, not so much. I tried bumping it. Put together a pretty good bump key and uh, hit it with my bump hammer several times, probably a hundred times. No luck, nothing. It would not work, would not bump, I, and I just couldn't understand it because four pins, man, that's a master lock. Why can't I get this thing? And so I just started single pin picking it, thinking I'm going to knock this out in no time. Yeah, well, that didn't work for me either. And then I thought there's got to be a trick to it, and, and in fact there is. Uh, and in fact, I'm just going to show it to you. When you look in the keyway of these, I'm going to shine a light in there, and you should be able to see on the very bottom of the keyway, see if I can get it to focus, very bottom of the keyway, there's your surprise pin. So it's not really a four pinner, it's really a five pinner. So for those of you who got nothing for your birthday or for Christmas last year, there you go, free security pin thrown in at the bottom of the keyway of these Vero locks. So then I thought, well, I know I know it is, I'm just going to put this a very long um, a torque wrench uh, inside of there and that'll simply push it down. So I shoved one in there and it didn't work. It really has to be wedged and every time you pick a pin that damn thing just popped up and kept seizing up the cylinder. So it was just a nightmare. So I had to recreate a, a tool and what I did is I took a normal key. Let me hold one up here so you can see. I just took the bottom of the key. I cut it off and I, uh, so that it will just go in the very bottom of the keyway. I drilled a little hole in there so we got a place to stick a wire. And so now we simply slide it into the bottom like so. There you go. And then I just got a little piece of music wire and we just can stick it in there like that. And that completely will defeat that bottom pin. Holds it down, depressed, and so you can now start to get a little play on the cylinder before it was completely locked up. So I thought, well, this is it. This is this is going to take no time. Again, I tried raking it, no luck. And I thought, well, crap, must be all security pins. So then I, let's go ahead and pick it. Um, and I'm going to pick both of them for you. So let's... Only four pins. Shouldn't take any time at all, right? Well, when you start... And we got a little bit of rotation on it, so we have what I perceive is a fault set. That might be deceiving, though. So we're going to keep moving up the stack until we get the one that talks to us. We're looking for some feedback on our music wire. But I have to tell you, there's something, there's something odd going on inside of these cylinders. It's not just this one. I, I've got about a half a dozen of them. And, and I don't know what it is. I get the feedback. Well, you know, I've been incredibly lucky. Uh, that, I, I can't believe that popped so quickly. Uh, let's do the other one. This this usually takes me about five minutes of going back and forth on the pins. So anyway, this one will be harder. I know absolutely for sure. Here, this one is. The, let me put my junk down. This one is the 60 millimeters. You can see uh, exactly the same cylinder, except just a little bit smaller when you compare them. But it's got exactly the same cylinder. But if you look at the bidding on this one, this one is quite a bit more radical, a little bit harder to reach. But as I said, there's something going on inside of these cylinders. I don't know what it is. It just feels really weird when you hit the pins, even when you get the feedback. You think you get the feedback, and uh, and then you try to punch the pin up, and it just feels real gritty, you, and then the feedback stops all of a sudden, and I just don't know what's causing that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take uh, one or two of these locks. I'm going to mill them open and find out and then I'll post the results here. You can't gut them obviously, but I will mill it open and we'll get a we'll figure out what's wrong with those pins. Okay. So now we've depressed that pin with our makeshift t tension wrench and then we got a fault set. And then let's see if we can get this one open. As I said, these have taken me upwards of 5 this one took me even 10 minutes to get open even though it's only four pins because of these this weird feedback. 
Okay, again, I'm, I'm getting something. It just feels real gritty. I don't know if it's the spring tension or... The, or I, I can't imagine that Vero, high-quality manufacturer, would have any kind of grit in the machine work, but... Okay, I got one... It feels like it's set, anyway. Go up the stack, looking for the feedback. See what we can get here. And I, I felt something drop. Probably the pin I just set. Okay, there's another one I think is set. And then we'll go to the back and see what happened to that back one. And I think he's still set. I wouldn't have ever imagined that a four pin lock would just be such a bear to get open. Okay, I got looks like the third one. I'll go to the, I think the back one fell again. I'm sure there's an ideal sequence, but there, there's just no play in this thing. No, I mean, the, the tolerances must be incredibly tight on these locks. Again, we set that one and I felt something else drop. Now you see what I mean. I couldn't believe we opened that first one so quickly. It usually takes this amount of determination to get through it. Okay, there's another one set. Now remember, we only have four pins and I've already had to reset them a couple of times. Check that back one again. Okay, it dropped again. There's just not a lot of room here for error on the on the tension. When you release the tension trying to reset that... Oops, now I've lost it all. When you re release the tension trying to reset or release it to pop in that security pin, and it appears they're all security pins, uh, the other ones pop out. I'm trying to keep the right angle here. I think the second one's set. Again. Hmm. A little frustrating and a little, a little humiliating, embarrassing. Can't get a four pin lock open this morning. There we go. Finally, put a little tension on there. There we go. Finally, we got it open. Now, a couple other oddities about this uh, series of locks. If you look, we do have that uh, half moon, but you notice it's not on the inside. It's on the side of it. And that's because there is a... Uh, let me get my music wire. I can point it out. There's actually a little slider bar in there. So, it, again, it's very secure, but it's just a little bit odd. So it's a, another unique design by this... Uh, Italian company. So anyway, very high quality locks. Uh, even though it's only four pins, both of them really difficult picks. You have to overcome that bottom security pin. I call it the free security pin. And uh, once you've got that licked, once you've got that secret, Vero secret figured out, uh, then you just have to fight four security pins that don't like to go into place. They, they, you have to fight every one of them. To, to get it into place to unlock these things. Anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, stay safe, and as always, please stay legal.